Hello, how's it going, folks? This is Paul McKay of One Voice Music Academy. Tune your mind. And I want to talk about raspy voice, what it is and how you attain it. Um, further, I want to supplement this discussion with a brief outline of the growl or the squawk or the squeal or whatever you want to call it. All right, so the raspy voice. Some people have a natural rasp. That's one category of people. You just have a natural rasp. It's how you talk. Maybe people in your family have a raspy voice and it's genetic, all right? If that's you, you accept that, you embrace that, you work with it, you make the most of it. This is characteristic of your personal style, all right? And you, you don't deny that. You you work with that, all right? Um, there's a second category of people who have damaged their voice either through over usage or straining, raising their larynx or something crazy like smoking ooh, or drug use or something like that, all right? These things do damage your voice. If you are in need of rest, please take a break, all right? Don't force it. Don't force things. Just sip a little tea and have a nap, okay? Um, if you're doing drugs and you've damaged your voice, please say no. To drugs, all right? So there's a third category of people now who naturally do not have a raspy voice, and this video is for you, all right? So the raspy voice, I like to actually suggest that you access it through the whisper. That's actually how you do it. Now, most vocal coaches will tell you that the whisper isn't the healthiest thing to do for your voice, but we're talking about rasp and growls anyway, so the singing textbook is pretty much thrown out the window, okay? So, through the medium of the whisper, yeah. see how that works? So that's the raspy voice. People actually sing entire phrases with that kind of voice, all right? Not the healthiest thing to do, but if that's the desired sound that you're going for, then go ahead and try it. Don't overdo it. Um, further to this discussion is the growl. Now, when it comes to the growl, I always caution people not to growl in the chest voice, all right? First of all, it doesn't always sound the best, all right? Let me demonstrate that. <laughs> All right. What a growl is, is pretty much the same vocal mechanism as you would put in place if you were going to cough or clear your throat. All right. It's like, uh, uh, uh. see how that works? Mm, interesting sound. But I actually suggest that people growl in the mixed voice or the head voice. All right. It actually engages less of the vocal cords, it puts less stress on the vocal cords, and it engages more of the arytenoid cartilages, all right? And it's less damaging to your voice, although growling as a whole is damaging, okay? I'm cautioning you now, all right? So, a head voice growl or a mixed voice growl sounds like, See how that works at the top? You want to be sparing and careful with where you apply your growls. You don't want to growl a whole sentence or riff in growls. You want to just, uh, you know, put it here and there as a little accent to your singing. All right? So, till next time, this is Paul McKay. Tune your mind. Remember to subscribe to the channel. All right? Follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook page, log on to onevoicemusic.ca. I got some new product coming out. It's the coolest product you've ever seen, trust me. All right, it's called the One Voice Elite Singers Music Voice Coaching Program. All right, so it's going to be available, and just look out for that. All right, so until next time, tune your mind.